All right, this tutorial is about Kodi. Kodi is a way to show and view your downloaded or purchased uh, videos or movies, and uh, you can find some information if you want on, let's take, uh, let's see what I take, take on Chromium. And let's go, that's always the first thing you should do, ArchWiki Kodi. Is there, by any chance, information on the ArchWiki about Kodi? So formerly known as XMBC, XBMC, voila. And it's social software media player, the name and hub, Linux, OS, iOS, Android. Great. So what can you do? Install the Kodi package. Okay, let's give it a try. So you see, we're now in, um, we have to check out where we are. As you can see, we're in open box. So how do I get this window to move half? Okay, let's first activate my screen key. Like so. How I do this is I press super and then four, but the four is on my numeric pad. So I have a separate have a keyboard with letters and a separate numeric pad. That's the advantage. That's what you need to have. If you have the four, and let's quickly make it a little game of it. This is seven, eight, nine, six, three, two, five, four. So that's what I wanted to do to do. And now I'm gonna take my terminal or control alt t i have my terminal i do just the same with that and i press six and then you follow install the kodi package sudo pacman minus s kodi go what is what is so the last thing that's um, in here is kodi and kodi needs this one and that one and that one and that one and that's all called dependencies i depend on these things if these things are not installed Kodi will not function and sometimes you get rid of things and then your program doesn't function anymore that's because the dependencies are gone so yeah install and everything is downloaded everything installed and there we are so Kodi is already installed i can run it but let's continue reading Configuration, auto starting at boot or starting on the mount. That's a nice trick. But do you really, really need that? That means that you're actually using your laptop or your um, maybe a small NUC or something, and you see when which you put behind your HD television, then that one will be always loaded. Or you, you, you just start with Kodi and that's all you see. It's an, it's an interesting idea, interesting concept, but not needed. Okay, Kodi standalone service is an AOR. AOR means you need to type Packer. Okay, it automatically creates unprivileged user to run Kodi in standalone mode and all that. So that's already a bit too much for the general user. Accession with LightDM, socket activation, our ears are getting redder and redder and sharing a database across multiple nodes no not really necessary set up nf server not so interesting well everything is interesting question is does a beginner in linux need to know that's something else tips and tricks hardware video acceleration Raspberry Pi information. So the rest of the things are only needed if we are in problem, in, in trouble. How do we start it? We are in open box, so super spacebar. And somewhere in here, probably multimedia, I don't know. There it is, Kodi. So now you can click on it. And now we're going to learn a little bit about Kodi. All you need to do is, is move the mouse. Well, actually, just leave the mouse like it is. Use the arrow keys and move about like that. That's the most the easiest way to do it. Player settings, media settings, service settings, lot of settings, skin settings you can change. Kind of like it, what it is. Escape. And then you have to add some movies. I don't have any movies. But you have to browse the movies to your home folder. Do I have movies? Uh, 
I guess I have movies in movies. I suppose so. Uh, oops, videos. Okay. And then we say edit. And then this confirmation contains. What does it contain? Movie, music. This, this makes it more easier for him to know what it is because he's trying to find nice uh, labels, nice, uh, they say that covers the covers of your uh, movie. It's going to check it in the movie dot database and the settings and so on. Okay, normally everything is good. Uh, you can, movies are in separate folders that match the movie title. So if you are a um, diligent person and you put everything in a nice little folder with a nice little name, then he'll know easier what it is. Uh, refresh sounds good to me that one like so the only move I have in here is the tutorial I made for uh, LibreOffice that's the tutorial I made myself so there you go I have this video and I am playing a video in Kodi escape gives us this he's continuing the tutorial and um, we'll have to try escape again and see maybe with a space bar space bar it's gone you see escape escape no you have to figure out how to move again to movies there are genres titles years so if you have a uh, collection of 100 movies you can go through them by actor and by that and this information all the information comes on imdb i think and it was the the way to find the information if there's music, if there's TV, the radio, don't know if there's radio available, if the tuner, backend software, uh, uh, we need hardware. Okay, lots of add ons we can put in here. There were subline, subtitle add ons that I added in the past. There's Meteo things, 9GAG, you all know 9GAG. Videos worth watching, you would install it. Let's install it quickly. He's downloading, as you see. Here, Bromix. Um, let's see if we can run it somehow. Open. No. Open. Thank you. Exit setup wizard. Sure. Let's get out of it altogether and see if it's in here somewhere. So we're back at the beginning with the weather. The question is now, where is my 9 gag? Again, videos, don't think so, no. Pictures, no. Add-ons, I guess we have to click here. Oh yeah, that's it. All right, uh, yeah, exit already. Yeah, why not? So, select language, and I'm going to keep English. Voila. Region. And I want it as interesting maybe for weather as well. Ta-da! Already stuff coming in. This is a Japanese museum. Asks people to get 12.5 kilogram gold bar out of a glass box and then you go watch if it's going to get if you're going to download it, it's not coming, this is coming, it's coming. <laughs> anyway, as you can see, it's a bit of um, getting used to, even me after months of not using it, I have to find it again spacebar and then it shuts up um, so you can add music music movie blah, movies and tv shows and music so you need to add mp3s mp3s and stuff like that music videos tv radio add-ons lots of other add-ons really you should should take a look at it because it's so so much you can install you know music add-ons, program add-ons, all that information. But this is not the place, I guess, to install it. 
check out this one as well player settings the media settings service settings go inside there the system settings resolution that you want to play in and so on so all the information is in here I'm not a specialist in it I'm just giving you a taste of it um, I rather just double click and watch it in VLC but be honest if you can show this to a person and you say whoa what are you having because all these um, films will have a uh, look like this all the, the, the films that you have will uh, show up with a, a proper label or, or of course again the name the cover so it's it's uh, it's neat to to show to somebody it, it really is and it just works uh, like I said what for instance is interesting as add-on is finding the sub uh, menu somewhere I don't know where I'm gonna find it add-ons how to add add-ons again mm, video add-ons so there are already a few of them there and then I uh, go to get more and then we have somewhere as you can see there's a lot a lot then my tutorial will become only longer and longer but it's in there somewhere I don't know if it just can type sub no. now I'm going for page down rather than arrows makes it a bit quicker because I do remember that was a possibility and it was so easy if you wanted to have a Dutch translation it is somewhere in here I think don't think it's a program add-on but there are things in you you remember emu I don't know if it still exists just stay away with these sharing sites please well in Linux maybe not so bad but whoa it was bad in the times of Windows 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 7 or Remix XP I don't know long a time ago the Trump tweets oh no really I'm not gonna put on that that on my system here Twitter tweets U-turn stuff what the movie so a lot of information is in here you can lose hours hours looking what's in there maybe better google what are the best add-ons for Kodi and then decide what you like the weather for instance you know that's an easy thing to do um, service for weather information none none get more okay we have more that's a good one underground okay now settings Damn. So now you have to go to the net and have to have an uh, API key. So you have to log in into Wonderground, ask for your API. I have one. And then you can copy paste in here and then you'll get the information. Um, and that's one way of knowing if it's going to rain. So I leave it, I leave you with uh, Cody. It's, um, it's fun. It takes time to figure it out. I never used my, um, my mouse. That makes it easy for you as well to see what I'm pressing. I sometimes I really don't know what I'm pressing. But as you can see, it's intuitive. Use the arrow keys and you'll see that another menu is going to pop up. So, okay, I didn't know that one existed yet. Available updates, recently updated, install for repository, or just search. So a lot of things. Subtitle, I don't know. If this is the correct place to do it. Anyway, I can do it. Here the subs, of course, that's how they call it, subtitles. And then you have to find out which one is best. This is one of the better ones I've used, that one as well. What's a pretty good, I recall. But having Netflix now, I don't care anymore. So here you go, that's Cody for you. I'm gonna stop the tutorial here. Enjoy. If I can. <laughs> So getting out is this one. Exit, yeah please. And now I probably can stop it. Anyway, let me.